circulating fluidized bed CFD boilers. Fluidized bed combustion part 3. Bubbling bed and circulating bed. In the previous lecture, some fluidization conditions were described. Out of those, only bubbling and circulating beds are currently used by the power industry to generate steam. On the left side, we have got the schematic diagram of bubbling fluidized bed. On the right side, we are having a schematic diagram of circulating fluidized bed. In this lecture, we are going to discuss circulating fluidized bed boilers. Circulating fluidized bed technology. The first application of circulating fluidized bed technology in the United States occurred in 1981 and became operational by 1988 with the constant development and refinement of the technology the use of CFB technology has expanded from small industrial boilers of capacity equal to or less than 30 kilograms per second to large utility boilers. By the early 1990s, several electrical utility steam generators had been in operation globally in the range of 100 to 165 megawatt. Typical circulating bed boiler schematic. Here one can see that water cooled walls of the boiler are there. Primary air is entering at the bottom and after that we are having air distribution grid. Gas and solid flow is shown with the help of the arrow. The main thing to be noted here is the presence of U-beams. We are having in-furnace U-beams and U-beams. Gas and solid flow is striking the U-beams. Gas is going forward but the solid fuel is because of the U-beams is coming again down to the furnace so that internal recirculation of the fuel is taking place. Typical atmospheric pressure circulating bed furnace density profile. Request. It is hoped that this session is going to be useful to you. Please press like button. Please subscribe this channel. Yeh lecture Hindi mein bhi uplabd hai. Fifty to seventy percent of the total combustion air enters the furnace through the wind box and air distributor. 
with the balance of the combustion air injected through over fire air ports a typical flue gas superficial velocity at full load thereby converting the process to a circulating bed above the OFA ports is 16 to 17 feet per second while single particles reaching the furnace exit could be up to 2000 microns in size typical average particle size is 100 to 200 microns in the upper furnace and 300 to 400 microns in the dense bed circulating fluidized bed primary particle collection system here one can see the u beams and in the attached side diagram one can see the principle of operation of u beams the furnace enclosure is water cooled membrane panels circulating fluidized bed boiler solid material flows the upward flow of solids decreases with increased furnace height as heavier particles recirculate back down the furnace resulting in declining local density with increasing furnace height in the internal recirculation ir cfb design u beam collectors located in the top of the furnace enclosure collect most of the solids that remain in the flue gas and return them to the furnace that is recirculation while passing the flue gas to the convection pass heat transfer surfaces most of the remaining solids and trained in the flue gas are then collected in multi cyclone dust collectors located in the back pass providing up to 99.7% overall particle recycle to the furnace in the diagram 150 megawatt utility reheat internal recirculation circulating fluidized bed boiler is shown fuel and sorbent are fed to the bed through the lower furnace walls ash and spent sorbent are removed through drain pipes in the floor or lower walls solids collected by the u beams are returned directly to the furnace and solids collected in the multi cyclones are returned to the lower furnace through the rear wall
primary air enters the furnace through the air distributor and secondary air is injected above the air distributor the lower furnace above the air distributor is covered by a thin layer of highly conductive refractory held to the water wall tubes by pin skirts refractory in the lower furnace protects the tubes from corrosion and erosion the remaining portion of the furnace enclosure consists of bare tubes selected key issues for circulating fluidized bed design include furnace temperature and heat transfer control solids separation solids inventory control and emissions solid separation a unique feature of circulating fluidized bed boiler design is the two stage solid separation system shown in figure the primary solid separator is an array of u shaped beams that is u beams located in the high temperature region at the furnace exit with the secondary stage located down stream of the convection surfaces in a low gas temperature region which varies from 400 to 900 fahrenheit depending upon unit design as the gas flow passes the u beams the momentum of the particles causes a large fraction to be collected within the u beam channel while the gas and remaining fine particulate fraction flows around the beams as shown in figure the first two rows of u beams are installed in the furnace that is in furnace and the collected material is returned directly to the furnace falling down along the rear wall the second group of 2 to 4 u beam rows after the furnace exit plane that is external u beams collects additional material that falls down and also returns to the furnace the u beams and mdc effectively collect and recycle all particles greater than 80 microns the overall efficiency of the furnace and external u beams is 97% or greater the fine particles fraction that passes the u beams is collected in the secondary stage of solids separation that is the mechanical dust collection multi cyclones these collect 90 to 95% of the remaining particles for an overall collection efficiency of up to 99.7% 
request it is hoped that this session was useful to you please press like button please subscribe this channel ye lecture hindi mein bhi uplabdh hai this lecture is dedicated to the loving memory of my late parents shri om prakash chadda and shrimati sudarshan chadda maiden name mohan dai suri